you've got to be clear on what it is you desire and be true to what it is you actually desire, which means no more, as I call it, the bungalow version of, oh, I'll pick this because I can probably have that. It's actually way harder to manifest something that you're semi lukewarm in because that's just what you should have, because that's what you get to have. That's the mind. I'm talking about heart, body. This is what I want. If I could have anything, this is what it looks like. You feel it. It's an activation. It's an expansion when you feel it. That's desire. We've all felt desire for things or people. We know how that feels in our body. You want to feel that, your manifestation. I desire it. I feel it. I'm expanding. And getting really clear on what that is. And then knowing that you are in a relationship with a team, as I like to see it, that are going to help you get that. And they're going to help you get it because you are heard as soon as you ask for it, which means they will bring you the situations and they will bring you the circumstances and they will bring you the nudges and they will bring you the bravery and the ideas and everything. But you always have free will. So your job here is, yes, you've got to trust in something greater, absolutely, but you've got to also trust in your relationship with your body, your relationship with your instinct, your relationship with where you're supposed to be going, moving, saying yes to, this is your job in the manifestation process as well. We've got to start really, really listening to that internal system.